Our discussion about the differences between our universes has given me an idea. If you can somehow connect to the Force even now, it appears that the way to return your crew to your universe is through the Force. An interesting theory, Commander. But how would you propose we harness the Force to open up the doorway? Even the wisest masters of the Force were not able to fully comprehend certain aspects of it, let alone something as unfamiliar as interdimensional travel. Normally, being out of your native universe would have devastating effects on your biology and molecular structure. Medical scans do not indicate such symptoms. If the Force is a form of energy that connects all life in your universe, I believe these connections are akin to quantum entanglement between your atoms and those of other beings. Perhaps being a Vulcan isn't so bad after all. And as much machinery and tools there are here, I am glad you haven't dwindled in your intellectual and physical capacity. That my student Revan so eagerly embraced using droids to fulfill his galactic ambitions are beyond me. One thing I do not understand, Kreia, is your goal to destroy the Force. Why do you believe that the destruction of this life force would do anything for the galaxy? Ah, uh, you have uncovered my hidden thoughts. I shouldn't be surprised, considering your psionic abilities. It is but a test for the Exile, a test of her resolve and her strength. It will be a fitting conclusion for her journey and a final lesson for her. That one can live without the Force. Is this one of your human pranks? If it is, that is the most elaborate one I've heard of. I would say an illogical and skewed waste of life and resources. If your intentions were to teach her, there must be a better curriculum. Oh, but you do not see the potential that she has. Like I do, Spock. She is more than just a student. She's one whom I can depend on to carry out my teachings. She will bring the currents of the Force to where it must flow. I'm sure she's an excellent and capable individual with her record as a war veteran. But the good of the many outweighs the good of the one. It's an axiom of the multiverse that cannot be denied. It is illogical to turn the whole galaxy into turmoil to teach her one simple lesson. Your logic is sound as ever, but you do not know the lengths a teacher would go to unleash her students' full potential. I am willing to kill the galaxy for her, and that is what you must know. Interesting. That is a rather remarkable display of affection. Unlike your usual cold and calculative demeanor, I surmise there's a more emotional reason for your goals. I would be a fool to deny that but I believe in the potential that the Exile has. Perhaps the same can be said about you, Spock. Perhaps you will follow in your father's footsteps for the betterment of your galaxy. I appreciate the confidence you have in me, but I still find your choices and plans quite eccentric. Indeed, as I am sure you would experience a great deal which would challenge your own philosophy. If not, you would fail to live your full potential. A most kind compliment, Kreia, though I lack the gift of foresight, I can say one thing as customary, live long and prosper. And to you, Spock, may the Force be with you.